Welcome back. Join me as I dance along to inexpensive library music. <laughs> not a really music, music, not really a song, but sounds like a song, so we don't have to pay any money to anybody. <laughs> I'm a sad, sweaty man. <laughs> and I rather like it. <laughs> My first guest tonight stars in the number one movie in America, Sex in the City, which is a yes. It's in the theaters now. Take a look at this. Please welcome the beautiful Kristen Davis, everybody. You're lovely. Well, thank you so much. Aren't you, look, you lovely? Well, thank you so much. Tear those questions look, up. We don't need those <laughs> questions. I don't need people to tell me how to talk to a beautiful no. woman. Oh, good, good, Unfortunately, good. my hand is frozen above my head. I like it. Keep it there. Keep Can you flamenco? There. No. Hey, uh, congratulations on thank the movie. You. That's fantastic. It's I, shocking and very exciting. I don't think it's shocking. I always You're said... You're adorable. Good. I thank said, you. no, ladies will go and see this movie. And... Gentlemen too? Not really, yes? No, gentlemen too. Really? Uh, mostly on Saturday night, date night. And I, I was right. saying to some of my younger straight guys, I was like, you know, if I were a guy, I'd be going to that movie because you're going to have a lot of single women choices, you know. Yeah, but if you're you know. a, a single straight guy going to that movie, a lot of single women are going to think you're gay. No! Yes! No! Girl, Greg, come on! They'd be very you, they'd be very impressed with you if you were there because you'd be there like to learn. And Not to... me. They'd be like, "Why is the creepy old Scottish Conan no! guy there?" No, no, no. Yes, they would. We want the men to go. Come on. No, no, no. Well, you know what? You have to put in a you know a guy with a hat and a whip. <laughs> Which, to get the men into the theater? I don't understand exactly what you're saying. Neither do I, actually. <laughs> hey, uh, but that, it's, it's lovely, and you get all the publicity all over the place, everyone's We talking. worked very hard yeah, on yeah, the yeah. whole publicity, and you know, there was this point where everybody was like, oh, you know what, it's all hype, it's all hype. I mean, there were really people who said that we were not going to be that successful, and I just think it's very much... Um, you know, the people who do these kind of prognostications, not taking the female... Prognostications? Yes. <laughs> they don't Does that take... mean eating bugs or something like that? <laughs> yes, they stir yeah. and they Ooh. look at the... Yes, what, I don't know what they do, but they thought that we would be, like, semi-successful. Right. And I think that's because they just don't take the female consumer seriously. And I think that that's what... That's a mistake. Happen it yes, is. If, you, if you underestimate the ladies, you're going to end up exactly. brutally injured. And luckily the ladies... <laughs> The ladies are on our side, yes. so it's pretty no, no, exciting I, I, for us. I know, they are, absolutely. I, you know, there's a lot of responsibility comes with being in mm. this, this cast, though, because they always look to you to be the, the women who are, you know, leading the way for the shoe dress army or something. What? This what? is true, this is true, you know. this is true. I actually, I went out to dinner on Friday night in my neighborhood in New York, which is a really not hip neighborhood, and I thought, you know, I put on my hat, I went out to dinner, everything would be fine. What hat did we you didn't... put on? Was it a big Kentucky Derby hat? <laughs> no! <laughs> Right. Right. It was like a don't look at me hat. Right. So I go out to dinner. We didn't know yet quite, you know, what the weekend was going to turn into. And I right. saw these big groups of women on Columbus Avenue, like uptown, in their shoes, like packs. It's Columbus Avenue. You sure they were women? Yes. Stop. Oh, my God. They were women and they were in packs. And, and I was like, there they are. Those are our fans. Like, <laughs> like, like. Click the click. Yes, yeah, I know. Packs of yeah. like groups. And I was like, oh my God, I've got to hide because I was so badly dressed. Right. That I was really worried that they would see me. But what about all the other stuff? I mean, that like, you know, the, the behavior of the characters on the mm -hmm. show is seen as role models and stuff like that. Is that mm -hmm. true? Do you see I, yourself I as I shy a... away from that. You know, the whole role model icon business is overwhelming. Well, overwhelming. The, the, there has been a lot of uh, scuttlebutt in the press about you being sober <laughs> and stuff like that as well, hasn't <laughs> it? I mean, that is that something that you. That it's you're... interesting. It's very interesting because I've been sober for a long time long time. Right. I was sober before I got famous, thank God, because I, I really fear for these, these girls yeah. and men, you know, everybody yeah, who's struggling. Yeah, I used to, you know. I do know. And yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, I really love when talk you talk about, about it. Yeah. I know. Well, once you say one word about it, for some reason, it's like fresh new news. It's I quite know. dramatic. I, that's why I don't understand it. I know. It's not like, you know what I think it is? I've got a theory about this. Tell Most me. people that, re, that are reporting on this stuff, yeah, yeah, tabloid yeah. journalists yes. in both television and the media, yes. they're all drunks. So what happens <laughs> is, I'm not really kidding. So what happens is, they're like, oh, yeah, oh, oh I couldn't handle your drink, oh. Uh, 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 and they're like, like burst 
super's these people. That are like, ah, oh, Diva, you look terrible. Ah. And I, I think it. basically I it's, it. it's you, you hold a mirror up to them a little bit and they don't like it. I, I, I think that that's what happens. I think that's an interesting theory and I'm glad that you said it. And, and I not you, because yeah. Because I'd yeah. be in some trouble. But, you know, I have, I've never not talked about it, but like every once in a while it will resurface in this really strange like headline making way. And I'm always right. like, well, okay. I, I mean, I'm fine with talking about it. I'm really happy to be sober. And it's like a, you know, it's a day by day thing that you kind of feel connected to everybody else right. who is struggling with it. You, would you mind if I ask you what you no, drank? Oh, well. <laughs> Champagne was up there. Oh, I was yeah, young. me too. I was young. Scotch. Scotch, thank you. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. And I was in the South, so bourbon. You oh, know, there was nice. a lot of bourbon. But the thing about bourbon I always found when I was drinking, that it was a bit like whiskey and a bit like candy to me. Do you know what I mean? It was a very sweet it's whiskey. True. I'm used it's to my true. whiskey being kind of... Ah, right. Yeah. yeah, the hardcore. See, I was girly. I was a little girly. So, like, rum and coke. I mean, you name it, I pretty much drank it. Mint julep. I was in the South. I like them. Yeah, yes, yeah, they were yes, lovely. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Do you know what I didn't like? I never drank the tequila. Tequila is messy. Well, that's what I do. <laughs> it is. I can't believe we're having this conversation. No, no, it's true. Oh, well, I always God. thought, look, either take drugs or drink, but don't, you know, if you put them both together, that's when you've got tequila right there. It's Pretty drugs much. and alcohol yes, it's right very, there in the same very, thing. Very it's like, oh, yeah. It's very messy. And yeah. I mean, we should just say that we are talking about this alcohol now with great relish. Yeah, with relief. Because we yeah. are alcoholics, okay? Yeah. Don't anyone get confused. Craig and I are not going to go have a drink. All right. <laughs> uh, no, I, just I thought feel where like this we was headed. This. No, we no, I know. But they, they, have a, they have a phrase for it, don't they? It's called euphoric recall. Yes. And, and the, the euphoric recall is that you euphorically recall what it was like when you were out and there. And it is exciting. It's exciting for a little while, and then there's and then jail not. and Tijuana. Absolutely. And, uh, absolutely. Absolutely yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Then the rest comes back, like yeah. the, the the downfall of. But it all. what do you? But why do you think people are so fascinated with it? I mean, because do uh, you think it's because they want to see vulnerabilities in stars? Is yes. that what it is? I absolutely think that there is definitely that element of uh, rejoicing in other people's pain. But I also think that culturally, that we're struggling with it as a culture, uh, with addiction, with disease. Is addiction disease? Is it not? Should we blame the person? Should we not? Yeah. You know, and and I think in a way it's good. It's good to talk about it. It's good. Um, to get like the intervention. I don't know. Do you ever watch intervention? No, no. It's good... Oh my god! Oh, really? It's great. Yeah, what, what happens? They, 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 they... they do interventions right, see, I on never the be television. Part of... No, no, no. Craig, it's fantastic. No, I could never be part of that. It's very serious and great. It's a it's like real documentary. What, like Project Runway? As serious as that? <laughs> <laughs> A little bit more. Really? They actually do an intervention? They See, do. I, I don't know if that should be televised. Well, that's a good point. Thank but you. But I feel, I feel that it is kind of educational because they have people with all different, like gambling addiction, eating disorder, and you really see it's not glamorous. No, like no. it takes away this weird tabloid element of like, oh, it's glamorous to fall out of your car. Yeah. You know, it's not no, glamorous no, it's not, to fall not. out of your car. No, it's you not. You know, even if there's a bunch of paparazzi standing there taking pictures of yeah. you, it's really not glamorous. It's not glamorous. You're, you're wearing there. a kilt. You don't wear an underwear. <laughs> <everything>. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, it's a bad thing. Um, we, we, but, we, we're yes. done. We're completely out of time. No! Yeah, no. I feel terrible. Um, <laughs> is there anything we can do? There's nothing we can do. Oh, wait. Let's stay for Joel McHale. I love him. Okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> you can stay. We'll be back with Joel McHale. Lovely Christian Davis, everybody. Excuse me a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back, everybody. Yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Kristen Davis Comedy Hour. Uh, my name is my name is Craig Ferguson. I'll be you know your butler for this evening. <laughs> my next guest is a stand-up comedian. He's at the the and an actor and he's a host. He's at the Las Vegas uh, Mandalay Bay on August the eighth. He's the host of the Soup, which are on Friday nights on the E Network. <laughs> but it's good. Take a look at this. Please welcome Joe McHale, everybody. <laughs> Welcome. Now, I, you, you, have met, you have met Kristen before, then? Uh, one time. Yes. Yeah, right. At a fair. At a fair. At a fair? Yeah. That were, had... you, were, you, were you buying a pig? Uh, 
We were petting some pigs. We, there was some uh, heavy petting of pigs. That uh, it was a very different type of fair. It was a Renaissance fair. A Renaissance fair. I no, grew up uh, in one of those. Scotland. Kind of. Yeah. yeah I died. Dead. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't. Well, I don't it even was remember. for kids for arts, but there were little animals to pet, and you were there with your lovely wife and your child. Yes. And I'm a very, very big fan, so I accosted Joel. Oh, nice. Yes. When and I, said, with the wife I said to my wife, children. I was like, please, 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 can I, can, can I, can I leave you? <laughs> and uh, and uh, she said no, no. no. <laughs> no. I am a, I'm a huge fan of your show, Joel. I, I really, I God never miss you. it. I think you're fantastic at, at, at the show, but you do make a, a, a lot of fun of, of, the, uh, of the folks in, in Hollywood. Uh, and you've got you've to keep going with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're asking for it. Do you, but you live here. Do you, don't, you find, don't you find you get into trouble like walking around with the, you know... I'm the... wearing Kevlar right now. Yeah. yeah. Just in case. I mean, sure, we could... I mean, like, we make fun of... Uh... Of yes. your show, of yes, Sex in the do. City. Yes, you do. And we're like, who, who in particular do you make fun of in that show? Mm, well, we're like, did you see the Golden Girls movie? And, uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know, but he's then, funny, it's okay. Whenever we lay into Sex in the City, then we usually go, but Kristen Davis is dreaming. Well, that's what, but that's <laughs> what everybody says. I know, he does. That's it's what everybody flattering. says. Yep. We actually got a, we, we, uh, we got a clip of uh, one of the, because uh, Kim Cattrall is, is uh, someone I worked with before. We have a clip of her, uh -huh. I think, working in a scene in the, the movie. Did so, we? Yeah. the other night, Bing and I were talking about, well... We decided to get married. She looks a lot better. She's looking good, I yeah. think. That now, was when she was in the band Nelson. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was, I caught it. The, uh, I want to say, I saw you at the White House Correspondence Center. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was, that's scary. I, you want to do that. You want to do that next year. Well, does it pay a lot? Yeah, yeah. There's like 48, 49 bucks in that thing. <laughs> That's before tax, though. Did they? Did they? What, were you? I, I can't, it was the craziest. I couldn't very, imagine trying to entertain that crowd. It was, oh, you were there in yeah. the room. That's right. Yeah, because I was trying to find out where you were so I could come over and go. Oh, Joel, I think you're great. No, <laughs> I, 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 and then I realized I had to talk to the president. You know, I was like, all right, um, I'll talk to you. Was it fun? Yeah, it was all right. It was okay. It was. Uh, you're best doing the sketches and stuff, though. That's more fun. Yeah. I like on your show when you dress up. You should dress up more. Do, uh, you, do you still at the acting? Are you still doing the acting? And yes, all? I'm actually doing a. Uh, I'm actually doing a movie right now. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. Excellent. Yes. It's called uh, New York Minute Two with the Olsen Twins. Nice. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> They would never sequel that. Uh, no, it's a uh, Steven Soderbergh movie called The Informant with uh, an actor named Matt Damon. No, no. You heard of him? <laughs> no, you, with no. that's great. He, you know Did, him. He was in Stuck on You. Yeah, yeah that's oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Did, is it an action movie? Do you run around with tight pants shooting things? Well, I do wear tight pants, but it's not a lot of action. Right, okay. Uh, it's, a, it's a true story about <laughs> price fixing. Oh, it's guilty. Uh, well, that's nice. So it's a drama then. It's actually a very dark comedy. Oh, right. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, that's a good thing to say because then when people don't laugh, you can go, it's too dark. Yeah, you're like, you don't get it. Yeah. You didn't get it. Go back to your, yeah. What about on, the, the, on the show? Is there anything you won't touch on the show? Because you're very, you're very irreverent on that show. Is there anything you won't well, you know, go after? Uh, we we make fun of all, as much as you know we can. We always, when celebrities are doing something inappropriate, we uh, we make fun of it. As opposed to someone like you know, we never go that Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah. What a jerk. Yeah. Uh, but he, we don't he, actually we don't he make. Is, he is though. Is he? Yo, terrible. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we cut that out. No. Yeah. You can oh. swear on this show? No, not at all. No. <laughs> 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 we really will have to cut it yeah, out. We will, we will. I, I was about to go and do it. No, no, don't. It won't no. get you anywhere. We actually don't make fun of uh, late night shows because we don't want to make fun of funny things. Well, you so. could make fun of this one, then you'd be all right. Well, yeah, no. of me in this suit with these I've shoes. I've always of course, rather but. thought that you'd be good at the late night shows. 
I well, think I think that's the way you should you should never make the act. Then that's come on. Do, do, do the, do. I, I just feel like um, you're you're the only one who thinks that. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but for now, for now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you leave? Are you leaving? Yeah. What? No. Remember about five minutes ago, like two minutes ago, like a minute ago when yeah. I said that rude word? That was it. I'm done. <laughs> Last moon Moonbez is going to fire over that? Maybe, yeah. Right. That and when he finds out about the other thing. How many grubs you've eaten? Yeah, I've eaten and a lot. larva. Did you ever eat grubs when you were drunk? I work at E, so... All right, uh, okay. Hey, you had a lot of fun at Ryan Seacrest at that show. That little guy? can't do that. He's... He's, he's, he's E, he's Mr. He's, e. He's, yes, he's the supreme lord of E. And yeah. uh, it's hard, because you can't make eye contact with him. Uh, he's always running into my belt buckle when I see him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh. Hey, little buddy, what's going on down there? No. What are you doing? No, no. You have so many jobs. <laughs> Wing. <laughs> awkward when you run into him? Um... I, well, I'm staring down at the top of his head, as I said. So it's yeah. he is in such a rush, and he has, f I'm not joking, I think four assistants. Right. And they run like a wedge through the hallways. <laughs> so he sends three out, and they clear the hallways. He runs to his dressing room. He does, he, knew, he does like 12 jobs on the way. He's, He's fascinating. incredible. Fascinating, man. Yeah. yeah. I've spent yeah. a lot of never, no time. No, no, I don't know. <laughs> Listen, it's lovely to talk to you, Joel. It's lovely to finally meet you. Thank you for coming on. Thank, and thank you for, you having for me. Uh, coming on too, Chris. And it's My lovely pleasure. to see you. Congratulations, Congratulations on the movie. to Thanks, you Joel. both. Uh, you just uh, a wonderful show business <laughs> love fest. <laughs> We're right back. It's still a journey, everybody. Anyway, uh, my first guest uh, is a lovely, lovely woman. Great big giant star, Emmy-nominated actress. It's always great to see her. Please welcome the incandescent Kristen Davis, everybody. Kristen Davis. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank well, it's you. true. Uh, uh, and welcome to uh, No Swearing Week in LA. <laughs> You know, I am the wrong, wrong person to even say that to because I was, you know, on a show where we were, you know, allowed to say what, whatever swear words we wanted to, but my character almost never swore. It was yes. a big deal if Charlotte swore, but in life, I swear more than all three of the other actresses put together. Really? Yes. Now, yes. I find that yes. hard to believe. I happen to know at least two of those actresses, and uh, they cuss a lot. <laughs> But you know, really? I, I got to a point because my mom is just really, I'm from the South and it's just not what I was supposed to be doing. So I had to try because once you start doing it, you become just desensitized. You yes. know, I'm sure you know what I'm saying. Yes. And, uh, and I started to realize like, this is bad. You know, my friends have small children. I have to go to professional places where it's really just not appropriate. No, you know? no, 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 no. You should cuss more. Really? Yeah. And here's why. Remember, <laughs> uh, I'll take you back a bit. Remember when you said they got desensitized? Yeah. Well, if you keep cussing, other people ah. will become desensitized to your swearing. I like that idea. Yes. I like that idea. I built a house, and I had it's a long process, not personally with the hammer Are we thing. changing Thank the subject, God. or is no, this still no, swearing? No, it's a swearing story because, right. you know, it's very frustrating. I don't know if you've ever done construction or whatever, you know. Yes, yes. It's I very used to work hard. On, yeah, very, yes. very hard. Especially and, when you're and drunk. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably very entertaining, but... Yeah. Um, for me, it was, you know, I don't know a lot about it, so I had to trust these people to, you know, build things and things would go wrong and whatever. And um, these people that I hired were wonderful and they were recommended by a friend, but they're very conservative religious, the, the con uh, contractor. Yes. And something would happen when he would come over, if something went wrong, and I would just start saying, you know, and I don't know if it was, like, I just couldn't, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let me remind you. It's no swearing week in Los Angeles. My bad. Well, what if I spanked you and swore at the same time? Would that yes, work out? <laughs> Get up here right now. But we shouldn't do that in Los Angeles. I think Tijuana for that. <laughs> A lot more would happen if we did that in Tijuana, yes. Um, but anyway, I think something really? about... <laughs> if you go to that trouble to go south of the border, then... I know, kind of... I've never actually spent any time in Tijuana. Have, oh. you, have you? You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Because you know what you can get in Tijuana? You can get those drugs, you know, like, like pharmaceutical prescription drugs without a prescription. So don't go. <laughs> I, I feel I could trust myself to not you buy do. them. Yeah. You do. See, for yeah. me, that's kind of like, whoo. 
Oh, oh really? Yes. Well, don't go then. Exactly, exactly. Well, where can you go? Where's safe? Because you could probably do that anywhere. Well, I mean, not here. You can't You just... can't. Out there in LA, it's like a oh, jungle oh, out there. Oh, but not, I mean, well, that's true, but you'd have to go to, like, a dark place or something. I don't no, know. No, no, there's a guy I know. Like, really? Well, never really? mind. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. right outside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a guy who lives over there, really, yeah. really? and he doesn't swear, yeah, which is tell great. Me, don't yeah. tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. No. Don't tell me. So you had construction done in your house by right. Amish people? <laughs> no, they were like conservative Christian people. All right. Yes. Well, you can't make fun of them, but you can make fun of the Amish. You know why? They don't have televisions. <laughs> Yes, they're cute, you know, I suppose. Yeah. But they're, oh, let's really put a burn up in half an hour. You know? Yeah, that was, that was a good movie. Remember with Harrison Ford? Yes, I do I like, like that Do you like movie. Harrison Ford? I love Harrison Ford. I love Harrison Ford, Ford too. Love him. Have you ever met him? I have. Really? I went to college with Callista Flockhart, his girlfriend. Really? So uh -huh. do you... Do you uh, um, Hang out all the time? No. No. <laughs> but, when but you were at college with Callista, yes. just stay with me, right? Okay, I can't Did you wait. ever find yourselves uh, like in <laughs> your dorm room at night? And you were kind of like bored. I set myself and you, up for that, didn't I? And you no, made pillow I never, fight, no, pillow no, fight. No, 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 no. But she was in my roommate. I had a guy roommate, Michael. Hi, Michael, if you're watching. And um, he, she was in his class, and I was a year ahead of them. And one time I did come home, and she was in my house, and I was like, "This is interesting. What's going to happen here?" So there were like, it was a you know, college is very kind of um. Incestuous. Wait, wait, wait. We need a little more detail than that. <laughs> You can't just brush over something <laughs> as important in a young woman's life as this. No, no, I, I think I, I can't remember what happened. I felt like I was intruding, so I think I had to go, actually. I think it was weird, and I had to go. But Calista and I were fine. We were, oh, we were friendly right. afterwards. Yes. I, have you ever been up in an airplane with Harrison Ford? I have not, though I'd love to because he's a pilot. And, yes, and aren't you a pilot? I'm not like Harrison Ford. He's well, he, like, he's, he's Indiana yeah. Jones. I think he, I'm like, just some rescues chair. people who are, like, lost. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's like, like this, the right? real thing. Right? He's I like, know. D -d 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 don't worry, it's Harrison Ford. Then he gets down and he jumps out the plane and his shirt gets ripped and he's like, yeah. And he's probably wearing, like, a hat. Yeah. Right? Yes, absolutely. I, I have not been in a plane with him, but I would love to because I wish I could fly. I wish that I knew well, how to. I, I, be a I could pilot. teach you. Really? But doesn't it take a very long time? Yeah, and you, and you should get practice. an instructor. Yeah. Because if you, I teach you. you didn't really? Because be. I would just want to fly you to Tijuana right away. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably not the best. That's true. It would yeah. be bad, bad, bad. Do you fly a helicopter or no. a plane? No, a little plane. A little plane. But yeah. don't the little planes crash? <laughs> First I heard of it. When did you hear about this? Am I wrong? Uh, Am I wrong? I, I, I certainly hope not. Well, I did go and jump out of a little plane. Stop. Yes. Parachute yes. it or no yes. parachute? Just you, crazy. No, I had a parachute. And not only a parachute, I had a big guy uh, strapped to my back as well. Well, I had <laughs> that. But what, but what about... Really? Yeah. They oh, strap yeah. you to a big guy and jump out of a plane? Yeah, because that Can way... you have it without jumping out of the plane? Or do you just have to jump out of the plane? You could probably have whatever you wanted. Oh. Yeah, it was. Do you want a flying school? No. Right. No, but it was wild. It was kind of wild and really, really fun. And um, they, they just, you know, they're like adrenaline junkies. Those guys who do that all the you time. You jumped out of an I airplane. I jumped out twice. Yeah, I jumped out the first time, and we took pictures on the way down for a magazine. And then I had just, you have a really intense, crazy adrenaline rush. Like, like when I got down, they filmed me, and I'm like, let's go again. And you would have thought I was like doing tequila shots all the way down, but I wasn't. So then I went back up and I did it again. And uh, and that time I was like, I don't need a helmet. You know, I don't no know. No helmet? Yeah, I don't know what was going on that these people let me do this. But I was like, yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good. So we went up to like 13,500 feet. Right. And I mean, these people, they were taking care of me. I don't mean to make mm -hmm. it sound like they weren't, but I had no helmet. And they didn't mention like that the helmet protects your ears, you know? Because ah. when you're free falling, I mean, it's fast and intense, you know? Cold not just as well, me. I imagine. Very cold, yeah. very cold and strange. Yeah. And, and the ear, like, I was like, ah! And I was like, that was dumb. You guys should have told me to But you know the helmet, helmet no. you know, if you jump out of an airplane at 13,500 feet yes. and your parachute doesn't open, it doesn't matter about the helmet, really. So, so true. It's very, I mean, very, it'll very give true. people an idea of where to look, but right, none of right, that. Right, 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 right. Something that's worth yeah. something. Also, my hair—it made like a cloud of hair, so I kind of couldn't see, which was not that would be really helpful yeah. either. You It'd know? be like a special effect on the Sci-Fi it, Channel. It totally yeah. was. It totally was. I was like, I'm in a, a brown storm or something. What? Well, because I mean, brown. you just don't know. <laughs> yeah, don't go there. Don't go there. No, don't no, go no. there. I forgot <laughs> who I was talking to. No, no. Look, tell me about your clothes. My clothes. I'm wearing a dress from my dress line. You have a, your own dress line. I now. do. I, right. do. I, I sell. Do you make them? 
Well, sometimes, to the horror of the people that I work with, I do get out needles and thread and sew things, and they're just like, oh, because um, I'm just supposed to be like, you know, the famous person who, you know, gives ideas and whatever. But um, I get really into you it. And did you design this? I did not actually like like draw it, but it is an idea it's from it. one of my favorite dresses. It's yes. uh, certainly a lovely idea. Thank you. It's Thanks, a lovely Craig. idea, Thanks, and I'm glad Craig. you were. It's lovely Thank to you. see you, Tristan. <laughs> Thank Kristen you so Davis, much. Kristen Davis, everybody, we'll be right back. <laughs> Actually, I, uh, Tuesday's my favourite day of the week. Do you know why? Because it's nearly hump day. <laughs> my first guest tonight is an actress. <laughs> uh, she's in a new film. It's called Sex and the City 2, which is in theatres on May the 27th. <laughs> Two days from now. <laughs> Take a look at this. Lovely Kristen Davis, everybody, Kristen Davis. Your shoe, your shoe I, came I off in the way. I walked out of my shoe. That's well. If that <laughs> shoe had mean? been left there, I would have found it and said, "Whomsoever the slipper fits shall be my queen." I love it. I love it. I love it. This uh, congratulations on the Sex in the City too. That means that's a sequel. That means you're rich. Yeah. <laughs> I should just say yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, you, I mean, and uh, wh what happens now? What happens, do the girls go nuts and shoot up the joint? Pretty much, pretty much. We go nuts, uh, we go nuts in the desert. That's pretty much what happens. We, we went off into the, into the sand dunes where they shot Lawrence of Arabia. Well, Vegas? Yes, yes, Craig, we were in Vegas in the sand dunes. No, we went and we shot in Morocco, but we're... I love Morocco, I've been there. Did you go? Have you yes, been? Where yeah. did you go? I, I went to Tangier. Wow. Yeah, what were no. you doing? Um, I, you know, I was with a girl. Really? <laughs> this, we were... this girl? No, not, not that girl. Oh, no, yeah. okay. No more questions about that. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, we went and we shot in Marrakesh, but we're actually supposed to be in Abu Dhabi, so, so don't tell anyone. Um... That, a lot of Americans are going to be disappointed. They're going to be going, wait a minute, that's Marrakesh. We thought this is Abu Dhabi. Maybe. We maybe, want our money back. Maybe, but it was a lot more um, friendly for us to shoot in Morocco than in the real Abu Dhabi. Uh, because I our see. movie is called Sex and the Sex. Well, yeah, it's a Muslim country. They might not like you to say sex. Yeah, they might not. Yeah. They might not. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's going to be interesting. Something in the city? What, 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 happens, to, what, happens, when the what happens when the movie comes out in a country where... We're going to find out. I mean, it, that's what I mean. It's, it's, we're, we're, um, we're kind of holding our breath a little bit. Yeah, you know? it's... Uh, well, luckily I'm getting nowhere near any of this crap. So, You're not. Uh, no. I don't like any of this stuff. Okay. No, and it freaks me out. I don't it like does it. Does it? Yeah, it freaks me out. That's why I'm doing really? this with my hands. It's fascinating. I didn't know anything freaked you out, Yo, Craig. stuff freaks me out. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yes. You of the Mythbuster fascination get freaked out. You like the Mythbusters? I, I like them, yes. I mean, I know you love them. I do, but and, and I'm... And I'm not an expert, not an expert at all. But they're on the plane sometimes, you know, the, the show they play oh, on the plane. Oh, really? Yeah. On the Sex and the City private plane? You no. watch Mythbusters? <laughs> That's adorable! That's exactly what we do. You know, no, on the regular planes, you know, commercial planes. Planes, which you, is really are, you what I do. are you interested in science and exploring its boundaries? Oh, I am. Craig. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> no, mostly I was looking at Twitter because I'm trying to. to I'm not really like uh, up with the whole Twitter situation. Oh, I'm on the tweets. I, I've seen, I've seen. So I was looking at you, Craig, who I like, I respect, you're smart. I was like, let's see what Craig talks about on his Twitter. And I learned that Craig has dogs and that he loves his dogs. See, I didn't know this about you. Well, you'll, you'll see, you never go wrong letting people know you love your dogs, but it's never true. tweet you hate your dogs. No, that would be very bad. That would be very bad. Yeah. But I mean, I didn't know that about you because, Although, truth you know, is, tell I'm me. not keen on one of my dogs. Why? It's a French bulldog. I love a French bulldog. You can have the one I have. There. He can come to my house. No, he's a French, well, she's a French bulldog, very farty. Uh, <laughs> I've heard about this. Well, do you follow the dog whisperer on Twitter? Because I do. No. And sometimes I get direct messages from him. It's very exciting. Really? Do you yes. have a dog? 
I have two dogs. What yes. dogs do you have? I have a um, two rescues. Um, it's a mother and then her one of her babies. I originally had the mother and her five babies that were turned in. I was the foster mother. Wow. Yes. You had six dogs at one point. I had six dogs at one point, and they, what they type were of dogs are they? Little. I have no idea. They're uh, they they're Heinz fifty seven. They call them. Right. Yeah. The the. But did, are they large, small, farty, like, not farty? Not uh, so much. Not so much. No, I lucked out. I lucked out. They're not farty. No. Are you sure no. they're dogs? <laughs> I mean, let's say just on the minimal side. Right, okay. okay. There's a, a little like th And they're like 35 pounds, like this big. Right, okay. They're very cute. They're very cute. If you want to look at my Facebook page, you could see them. Well, I'm not on the Facebook. So right, I don't know. so you're so a what's guy. What's your handle on the Facebook? Just your regular name? Yeah. And you put your photograph there? Yeah, everybody knows it's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what do you write little things? Yeah, I talk about my trips. I just went on all these trips. I put up pictures of the gorillas in Rwanda and... <laughs> Yeah, did I went you to met Rwanda. the gorillas in Rwanda? I did. Or, oh, I, I did. You I didn't just them. have some pictures of gorillas in Rwanda. <laughs> that would be so sad if I was posting like a anonymous. Little bit. You went to Rwanda? I did. I went I, to Rwanda. Is that a very nice country? I've heard it's, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful, and the people were just so kind. It's, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, because they had that success. terrible time. I know, and, I know, and it's not that that's not there. You see the memorials, and right, you're aware of it. But at the same time, you really feel like it's this huge success story. Like they, they have this thing where once a month on a Sunday, everyone in the country must do something to clean their house or their business area, make it more beautiful. It's mandatory in Rwanda. And I said to the people we were with, I said, do people get angry about this? And they said, oh, no, no, everyone's so happy to do it. And like to take pride in their country. That's nice. And it's so clean and beautiful. And they, there's no plastic bags. They have these beautiful cloth bags with flowers painted on them when you buy something. This is the gayest thing I've ever had. <laughs> It's lovely. And, and you don't mean that as a derogatory thing anyway, no, right? No, I think it's adorable. Okay. You kidding me? How okay. did they get their boards to be so in a beautiful Hessian bag, mister? That's a... I love well, it. you know, plastic <clears throat> bags, they don't, they don't biodegrade. Yeah, they don't biodegrade. And then the, the gorillas choke on them. And that would be really awful. Yeah. No, yes, did you yes, actually see gorillas up oh, close? Oh, we saw gorillas pretty much, I mean, not as close as you are because they're rules, so you have to back away from them. Oh, like, don't touch the gorillas, like we at a strip club? We want them to be... <laughs> I've never been to a strip club, Craig. I have no idea. Have you idea. never been to a strip club? I've never been to a strip club. You'd club. like it. Do you think? <laughs> if I could go there anonymously, then I would go. Well, but, but you know, I you don't just really make up a name. No, no I'd have to, like, put on a wig or I, I don't know. Well, I, some I, of these guys I, are cute. It's worth it. The guys? Yeah, well, yeah, what well, guys are you talking about? The Thunder from Down Under, that guy. Kind of <laughs> Poster. Yeah. I, I've seen that poster. I have to. I'm not really into that. No. Are you not? What are you into? What, 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 physically, what physically do you find attractive in men? I'm not talking about your role, just your How physical. How did this happen? How did this happen? It, because it happens um, here, that's why. It does, it does. What do I find physically attractive in men? Um, funny. I really like funny. I know everyone says that and they think you're joking. But I really like funny and, um, oh God, But I'm funny's so not a physical attribute. Funny is a I kind know. of thing. I know, it's just I'm the first about... thing that came into my head. Yeah. Do you ever, like, do you know there's like you're this medical... You're a problem. You are a problem. <laughs> I just want to tell you you're a problem. You better believe it. So... <laughs> There is this medical thing, though, I oh, think, this science me. thing, right? Like, when About women... The, your faces? No, no. Oh. When a woman sees a man, the yeah. first thing she does automatically checks out his crotch. That is not that true. That is true. That is true. That is not true. That I'm going to show of hands. I do not think that's true. No, they true. don't know they're doing No, this is what I think we not do. Not gay women, obviously. They, they go, like, not interested. And then, as I said... <laughs> serious problem. This is what I think we do. I what? think we look in the eyes and we try to see deep to see if they're good or bad. No, no, no. Yeah, you yeah. think you Isn't look in the right, eyes. Ladies, no, ladies, no, ladies. wait. Let me just We're explain to this to you. Are they no, a good no. guy or a bad guy? A good guy or a bad guy? Bad guy, bad guy. guy. <laughs> but no, no, no. Goodbye, bad guy. Good guy. But here's the thing. Tell me. I think that women like to think they look directly in the eyes and they want to believe that uh -huh, about themselves. Uh -huh. But science has proven to I us that you look at the crotch true. first. I yes. do not think this is true. I did not read that study. This is one thing I look at. What? Which is going to sound a little, a little crazy. I'm sure someone's going to have something to say about this. I like people's hands. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Take my hand away. No, 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 come on. Don't it's you all think right. hands are interesting? I think hands are interesting. I think you can tell a lot by a man. A couple of things. You, if you're looking at a man, ladies, this is important. Dirty fingernails? It's not good. Pinky ring? Bad. Very Pro bad. Probably my... I have a friend who wears a pinky ring, so... Is he in the mafia? No, no. His name is Dave. I love him very much. Other than Dave, it's not good. 
So if, if you meet a gentleman whose name is not Dave and he's wearing a pinky ring, <laughs> chances are he's in the mafia. Yeah. But also, you can just tell, like, you know, people sometimes have creative-looking hands or, like, hard-working-looking hands. What do my hands look like? Huh? I think your hands look like you are a little crazy. Yes, definitely. <laughs> That you're more like a writer, kind of a thinker person. You're, you have like no fingernails, so you're possibly a little high strung. <laughs> it's like you know me. All right. Right, let me look at your hands. Oh, yes, now. tell All me. All right, I'll read your hands. Please oh, tell me. Oh, you like to travel. <laughs> May I just... Uh... <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> Lovely, smelling. Wouldn't it be awful if they didn't smell good? Wouldn't that be terrible? Oh. It would be so terrible. Hang on, this one's not so good. Oh, like... you're so bad. No, you have that gel. Um, yeah, you want some? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I've used it. It's all over the building. My hands are so clean, you wouldn't believe. They had, you know, anti-swine flu, Well, right? yeah, but when, into it. when the swine it. flu happened. When yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you a germaphobe? I'm not really a germaphobe, though, though when you do travel, you know, we've... I've, yes, that's true. You've got to be careful. You know, you kind of got to be careful. And, I, and you I start... squirted down my pants. Really? <laughs> Doesn't it sting? It does. That's the best part. <laughs> do we have to take a break or what? What do we have to do? We have to say, are we up, we're done? Oh, we have to take a break, like, for good? Do you know, I hate that guy. You do? Yeah, he's always interrupting me and oh, saying, shut no, up. No, no. He's okay, he's okay. Oh. It's all right. So, Did we talk about the movie? Did we say... Oh, God, yeah, no. Yeah, uh, like, quickly, yeah. Uh, uh, whoa, this uh, movie looks great. You're kind of disheveled now. Yeah, I know. You know what it is? I'm kind what? of... I, I've, I've let myself go a bit. No, I think you're looking good. Really? You're looking good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got to talk about the movie quickly. Yeah, it's coming out. It's great. All right, okay. It's exciting. I'm a little worried we're going to be overexposed, so I hope everyone isn't really sick of us. No, come on. Okay. You kidding me? But you know what I'm saying. It's a lot. No, I think the ladies love this movie, this this whole troop of We you. want the men to love us, too. I think the men are okay with you as well. <laughs> men are okay. We, we don't want to leave you out. You know. No, no, you're you're good with me. Good. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, mm. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. He's scary. Yeah, huh? Yeah. yeah. The, you know, there's a time to talk and a time to shut up. That's yeah. right. Talking here. His suit's too big. Uh, it was. It, he was wearing that suit when the accident happened. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, he, he used to be a, a second-hand car salesman, and he spontaneously combusted. I like the story. It's good. Does That's he have a me. girlfriend? Uh, yeah. Good, good, good. Does uh, your hand, do your hands smell good? His hands smell like ass. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> hey, we find ourselves funny. That's something, isn't it? Um, oh, well, we got to go, say Kristen. Anything I, else, Greg? No, I'm I know. We, we have to. We have else. to go. Okay. It was just a shame because I could talk to you all night. I enjoy it as well. Yeah, but then we get into a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah. All right, Kristen Davis, everybody. We're right back. My first, actually, my first, actually, there, I've changed my mood, look at that. My first guest tonight is a very beautiful and talented actress, a very good friend of the show, really lovely woman, uh, smells delightful as well. <laughs> oh, yes. A little bit like lavender and vanilla. Aha, uh -huh, that sounds quite nice, doesn't it? Please welcome the lovely Kristen Davis, everybody, Kristen Davis. Sensational. Thank you. I tried to do a little holiday for you. Wow, it's fantastic. Thank That's just you. the kind of vacation I need. I'm glad. I think you look like Mad Men at the end of the day. You guys watch Mad Men? You know, like you're like a little little scruffy Mad Men. That's right. It's like good. I'm, oh, it is? Yeah, it's a good thing. All Absolutely. right, good. Okay. Absolutely. Well, I'm going for it. And I like your shoes. Thank you so you can, much. You can keep them on. I'll remember that. Yes. Let me ask you a question. Do you... Um, no, I'm not going to ask you that. I was going to ask you about your shoes. Do you like to keep them on, you know, for, 
You know, there have been times I have absolutely enjoyed keeping them on. I yes. think it's a great but thing. But you know, I have to say with the men folk, not so often. I, I kind of no, want the shoes off. Men, yeah. men, men can't wear their shoes. I was shoes. a little concerned about you earlier. No, no, I was just for community effect. Some, no, you know, I, no I, I take everything okay. off. Yeah, oh, no, thank yeah. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, yeah. you don't want to hurt anyone. Or, or you squash know a bug. <laughs> Hadn't thought of that. Hopefully there are no bugs involved. You've never been to Europe, have you? <laughs> and by yeah, been like, to Europe, I think you know what I mean. <laughs> no bugs. No, no, no. No, come on. No. Hey, I, now, yeah. how, how have you been? Oh. What have you been up to? What's going on? I've been on? good. I've been good. You got I've a new been show? having um, I'm developing a show. Really? Uh, we don't know what's going to happen. You know the crazy networks. Yes, I do. Um, well, not this one, is it? No, no. Oh, thank goodness for that. What, what is it? <laughs> Which, what is it? NBC. NBC? Oh, they're all right. They yeah. have a lot of real estate that's going to be open. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. They're, yeah. they're fourth. Oh, they're, they're fourth. fourth. Yeah, they're... Yeah, no, I was I trying to be like nice. It. Yeah, I like it when... <laughs> I like it when networks are in real trouble because then they're not arrogant. They're like, please give us a show! Well, they try stuff. They try yeah. stuff. You know, and I love their comedy shows. And then this would be a, a single camera, half hour comedy. And um, it's based on a book called The Happiness Project, which is a great book. Really? Um, it's a nonfiction book, so we're going to just, like, have fun with it. What, what happens in it, then? What's The Happiness Project? Is it kind of um, like, do people keep their shoes on? <laughs> I think there are actually some parts that if you would see each person has their own happiness project. So it would be like, what does Craig want to do to be happier? Out of so here. Out of here. Out of here. No. No. Did that come out of my mouth? True. I was just thinking. I, was just, I didn't that know it came out. That's not true at all. Oh, oh my. You I didn't know it came out. Like, oh, out of the no. show. Out of the show. No. No. No, no, I love it here. This we, is my and best thing ever happened. And we love you here. Yeah, no, we I, love you here. Yeah. No, but like, let's say the Craig wanted to, to, to dance naked in his shoes or whatever. If that would make him happy, then he should do more of that. It's about finding what makes you happy and doing more of it. I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> you should come on the show. Yeah, I'll do That'd it. That'd be fun. Yeah, I'll do That'd it. Really I'll, I'll do anything you like. But I'm just developing Will it. Will you keep so. the shoes on? Yes. Uh, then I'm in. For you. Yeah. <laughs> I've been I've been developing that, which you never know what's going to happen. But then yeah. I've had a lot of time off, which has been nice, and I've that been is traveling. Nice. Where you, where'd you go? I went to Ethiopia. Wow, that's yeah. um. It was amazing. Oh right, okay. Yeah, yeah. It was amazing. No, no, I've never amazing. been to. I don't know. I've never been to Ethiopia. <laughs> Is well, it? it's it's very different than than at least how I thought it would be. I think because we've heard so many of the bad things that happen in Ethiopia, so mm -hmm. you kind of don't think about any other parts of it. Two civil wars going on or something? Absolutely, and yeah. famine and different things over the years. But th what's really cool is they're the only African nation who has never been invaded and colonized. They fought off the Italians, and I met these women in the in the mountains who actually like were the fighters when they were like 20. I mean, very intense women. Very right, intense, yeah. yeah. Fighting off Italians? Why? Yeah. Well, because they didn't want to be colonized. But Italians come in, they go, okay, everybody, we make a food, everyone, they dress good, it's going to be great. I don't know. I'm like, I don't know, man. Come on in, Italians. Like, if Italians wanted to invade this studio, I'd be like, help yourself. That's a good point. Yeah. I think it's a little different. You know. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably being naive. I yeah, think a little. Yeah. I think yeah, a little. Yeah. But that's okay. I mean, I, I respect that they defended their country, you know, like, on their own. Like, the women got out and got guns and was like, get back. Yeah. Um, so we went with Oxfam, which I, which I work now, with. Now, tell me about Oxfam. I remember Oxfam when I was uh, growing course. up in Britain. It's a right. very big charitable yes. organization yes. there. Yes. And it's Oxfam. It's the same one? Yes. There's different Oxfams in different countries. And I work with Oxfam America, but I also right. go internationally with them. What and does Oxfam mean? Oxfam means... Oh gosh, this is a test. Oxfam means um, family of oxes. No, <laughs> um, famine relief, basically. Oxford oh. famine relief. Oxford famine it relief. It was yeah, scrunched down, and it was um, started to to say, you know, when there are wars, there are pe innocent people that are affected by wars or conflicts, right. and sometimes starved by say sanctions or food can't get to them because of the war, and that's not fair to the innocent people. We're not right. talking about terrorists or anything, right, right. obviously. So but don't feed the terrorists, is what you're saying. We definitely don't want to feed the terrorists, <laughs> right. but but we don't want innocent people to suffer as no, well. No, of course not. That was how it was started in right. 1946. So when I go, I usually go to work with women's issues that have to do with women's rights and children and um, usually teaching women self-sustaining skills because there are a lot of countries where women are not really brought up to be um, having jobs or, or there aren't jobs available for well, them. Very, very positive thing to do with your time. Thank well you. done. You. Thank That's you. Thank fantastic. you. Well, I actually, I get so much more from, I feel like I am the one who benefits from, from it. I mean, every time I take a trip, I, I learn so much. I'm so changed and are you, by what Do you I have see. an official capacity with Oxfam then? I'm an ambassador. Really? Yes. Do you get your own... 
Do you get a little outfit? I wish, actually, they, I am often dressed by the people that we visit, and it's yeah. always an adventure. Yeah. I have a very special handbag they made for me out of goat skin. It smells very interesting. Ooh, is there anything like my... <laughs> I've got a little... Th th well. I don't want to touch that. I don't know what it is. I don't know what that is, Craig. What is that? You know what this is. <laughs> You've seen one of these I before. Know. I don't want to touch it. Don't Come touch on it. now. Don't make me touch it. Please. I'm not making you touch it. I okay, dream of that, making you touch it. It's, it's a... It's a kangaroo scrotum. Oh. Uh, it was given to me by Carrie Fisher, who had been to Australia that recently. That makes sense. And she, <laughs> she, she picked one up for me. I said, wow, you're in Australia. Pick me up a kangaroo's really? nutsack, you ordered would you? It? you ordered it? And then when she was here, because I thought it was a little intimidating, I drew a kind of happy I'm face glad, on it. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm so glad. And I thought, it's such a good idea. I ended up drawing a happy face on my own. Excellent. Picture now with the smiley face and the shoes. Well, that's right. That's there's a night out right there, Woo! isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Steady, ladies. Woo! Yeah. Well, we're done here. That's it. <laughs> Are we? Yeah, kind of. It was fun. Yeah, it always seems to go very quickly. I know, Craig. Yeah. That's why you should you should you know come on my show. <laughs> Is that code? <laughs> Like, it's fun to come visit you here, and then it goes really fast, so you should come over into my world, and then we'll keep you the whole day. Well, where, where, where is your world? Is it in New York or L.A.? Mm, I think it's going to be in New York, so I guess that's hard. It's hard for me hard. to get to New York. They, they Maybe hard... I'll make the Craig episode in Los Angeles. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> will you wear the shoes? I will. <laughs> My first guest tonight is an actress. Ooh. 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 An actress, eh? Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, she's an actress. She's got a new movie out. It's called Of Two Minds. It premieres March the 10th. Uh, the ten it's on the 10th of March. That's when you can see it on the Lifetime Network. Uh, please welcome Kristen Davis, everybody. Kristen Davis. Great. Thank you. look you. really lovely. I love Thank your shoes. You. Do you? I wear I them do. special for you. I like a bit of toe cleavage. You do? Yeah. You Excellent. Got, you got the toe. It's like tiny little... Yeah. I'm not going to ask even what means. Well, I, I've become very... I mean, I'm usually quite creepy, as you know, but yes. I've become... I'm going to become very creepy this really? evening. Really? Yeah. Why? I think it's because you're here. Really? Yeah. I like that. I was getting quite excited earlier on. Excellent. I was doing my creepy laugh. <laughs> I liked that. I liked that. Yes. You like my creepy laugh? Sure. I'm nah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> In person, it is a little it's intense. A little, yeah, it's a little it's intense. A little, it's a little alarming. Intense. Yeah. yeah, but I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm good. I've been traveling a bit, so I'm not sure, you know, where I am, what time really? zone, but it's all good. Really? I'm here with you. It's good. Where have you, where have you been? I was in Thailand. <gasps> Really? Yes. Bangkok? Yes. <laughs> it's in Thailand. Yes. Yeah. That's where I was. Righty ho then. <laughs> <laughs> I was only working. I was right. working. You were working yes, in Bangkok? Yes, I was. I was. <laughs> Bangkok is the new Vancouver. Bangkok is where they send us when they don't want to shoot something in L.A. Oh, yes. really? Yes, it is. Yeah, I got out of the movie business at the wrong time, then, really. <laughs> what were you doing out there? A hair commercial for, for Asia, for Japan. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. It was quite something. Yeah? Quite, quite something, yes. Yeah. Did you have to wear a wig? No, no, right. no, no, no. Truth in advertising, you have to have your own hair, but I mean, it was like uh, uh, the art of hair. There were sticks and uh, lassos involved. Oh, no, don't, you don't want to do that. Yeah, it, no. oh, it was... It was I, I, got, I got a whole lot of that going on before I do the show every really? day. Really? Yeah. It looks good. They Thanks did good. I sticks and lassos. Yeah, they did good. And, yeah, no. and wind and, you know, No, 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 no and, not really. Yeah. No? No? <laughs> wind? Well, you know, you have to blow the hair. Oh, and... like a Van Halen video. Like, totally, oh, totally, yeah. yes, yes. I like get that. it. Like that, like that. 
Yeah. All right, so you were in Thailand. That's where you've been. I was you in just Thailand. got back? No, then I went to New York and then I went to Washington, D.C., and now I'm here with you. Oh, wow. I know, I know. You, you're terribly jet lagged? Semi. Do you know what's good for that? What? Crack. <laughs> Wonderful. No, I'm like, that's a terrible, terrible We're both thing sober, terrible so we're not going to do that, no, but we no. could think about doing that. No, I would we do could that. dream no. about doing no. it. No? No, I was never, up to, I was never no, into that. too much. Well, actually, I kind of got out of the game before. Me too, know, me yeah, too. Crack was it around. wasn't around me, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it wasn't around me either. It's a good thing. Yeah, yeah thing. I think so, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then your teeth get all messed up. It's yeah, bad. yeah. Well, I was, you know, I was in Britain. And, right. You know, so the teeth So then the teeth would have been gone. No teeth at all. Very bad. My teeth have become very American, though. Yeah, they look nice. Well, thanks. <laughs> None of them are mine. I don't believe They're you. They're all from the valley. <laughs> yeah. They I were think they look taken very from, real. No, no, Come they, were, they were taken from uh, Anchorman. Cadavers? Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, oh. Yeah. Anchorman, that's going to the top. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. I, I that's want good. Anchorman teeth, yeah. That's good, that's good, that's good. I had to, uh, I used to go, um, I was on a show called Melrose Place. I remember that show. Long time ago. Well done. Thank you very much. All and right. everyone's teeth were like beyond white. It was not really white. It was like where they like looked like they were illuminated from within. Yeah. So I would go to my dentist and I would say, you please, you've got to make my teeth lighter. They're not like light enough. And he'd say, no, 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 that's crazy. I'd be like, you don't understand. I'm on this job. I'm with these people. It's not normal. I have to try to look like them. And he refused. And I'm glad because yeah, no, you can go too far. You can go too far. Yeah, no, it's... It was intense, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. CBS Chris. <laughs> uh, so what are you up to now, then? Are you going back? You live in New York, though, don't you? I live both. I live both. I've been here mostly. Really? Yes, 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 yes. 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 What's going on, then? I adopted a baby. You did? Congratulations. Thank That's you. lovely. Thank you. What have you yes. got? Yes. Thank you. A girl. Her name is Gemma. Gemma Rose. How lovely. Thank you. She's seven months old. That's great. Thank you. How's yours? Oh, easy. Well, I got two. I got, yeah, that's them over there. Super cute. I keep a picture of them there uh, just to remind me why I go through with this crap some night. <laughs> I don't need to, to be on TV. They're just there, so I turn around and go, oh, yeah, yeah, them. Yeah. I understand. That's why I do I it. understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, no, my oldest boy is uh, coming up on 11, and my youngest is, uh, is 13 months. Ooh, somewhere. that's... A, that's. A... Yeah, he's walking now. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Smoking a pipe. Yeah. <laughs> Where's a tweed hat? Oh, my God. <laughs> why Solving crimes. Yet? Solving crimes. <laughs> Mine, um, she just started standing. Yeah. Yes. When they start walking, uh, so. I know, I know. I'm worried. I'm worried. Yeah. You're gonna have to like. <laughs> Is she sleeping through the night? Eight hours, you know. I mean, that's pretty good, right? What a hell, woman! <laughs> really? I have amazing, amazing help. I have an amazing baby nurse. I owe it all to her. Well, that's great. You yes. know, if you can afford it, you should have it. Huh? I saved my money. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, yeah. if you can afford, that's that's one of those things. If you can afford it, I don't know. You know, when people do it without help, I'm like, wow. Oh. I feel the same way. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. I know how to do it, uh, but... <laughs> how? You stay up all day. Right. Night. Yes, 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 yes. We have to take a commercial break. How do you okay. feel about that? Whatever you say. Really? Sure. <laughs> That's kind of nice. But a little risky, wouldn't you think? Yeah. I like your ring. Thank you. Yeah, it's very thin. Thank you. Dainty. Aren't you worried it makes your hand look big? Now I am. No. It, it I saw that in your eye before you said it. I did. I did. You were thinking that. Well, it's all about perspective. Whenever I look at this, Craig, no. I will think of you yes, saying you that. Well, it's just about perspective. It's like, that's why I, I whenever I'm heard. eating a hamburger oh, naked, no. I always ha try to... <laughs> Always have a white castle. You so you have a white uh -huh. castle hamburger. You're like, mm -hmm. these had never entered my head. These thoughts. I'm uh, you got to know the tricks of the trade. This, this is the this is the male version of Spanx. You got to have a male yeah. version of Spanx. Uh, it's holding a white castle. Better get burger. a bigger ring. No, oh, you're, you're, it's lovely. It's I really, need a ring like that. Uh, no, you don't. Nope, that's you, very masculine. It is. Yes. I got too many rings. I feel, but I can't help it now. That one's big, too. Yeah, I know. Well, i got a big old finger here. <laughs> I set you up. Look at the, look the size of those. Boys. Look at the size yeah, of those. I things. don't know. I don't know. Oh, what, whoa, you know. Yeah. what about that horse? What horse? You know. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs>
like everybody. I'm here with Kristen Davis. She was admiring the size of my fingers. Uh, <laughs> You know what you were thinking. <laughs> now, we're out of time. Uh huh. So that means that we have to, you know, do our decide, thing. Yeah, how yes, we're going to get out of here. Uh -huh. Right. Oh, so, oh, yeah. right. So, do oh, yeah. you, what, how do you want to do? You want to know? I want that money thing. Oh, you, uh huh. You don't even want me to give you the no, option. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> you might surprise me. All right then. You can have the mouth organ. You can. <laughs> you can hold my fingers. <laughs> You can yeah. have the awkward pause, or you can go for the big cash prize. I want the big cash prize. What time is the shot? It's time for the big cash prize. Cash prize, all right. Big cash prize. Two ways to win. Okay. Right. You can either answer a question, or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head, but I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff Peterson knows what's in the box. You try and guess what's in the box. If you're correct, you win. Oh, you win $50 in quarters in a bag with a dollar sign on it. <laughs> if, don't touch it until you've earned it. Um, oh, I don't the think there's $50 in there. People say that. No, it's yeah, it's not, not enough. No, no. I, it, is, it is. It could help with the parking in L.A. That's it, what I'm saying. It'd be really useful. Right. Yeah. So, uh, you, yeah. so you guess what's yeah. in oh, I don't know sorry. what's in the boat. Oh, I have to do it now? Well, Aren't yeah. you going to say something? <laughs> Come on now. You, two ways to win. You either answer the question or you oh. guess what's in my oh. box. Here's yeah, a, no, the, right. the question, the question, the question. Oh. <laughs> Shit lag, sorry. That's right. <laughs> okay. All right. Then. <laughs> Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. What is the name of the mystical sword wielded by Lion O of Thundercats? <laughs> Is it the Hessian sword, the Atlantean sword, or the sword of omens? I like the sword of omens. That's the correct answer! <laughs> I know where you're saying, Craig, what were you doing there? Getting ready for Fashion Week, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> My first guest tonight is a very beautiful actress. She is the global ambassador for Oxfam, a good friend of this show, and looks great in a very tight black dress. Please welcome the lovely Kristen Davis, everybody. <laughs> I'm good. You look good. sensational. Thank you. I'm very disheveled and mommified, and no, I. No, no, you look great. Thank you, don't, you. You don't look like you're mommifying at all. You look more mama than mommified. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I was this morning. I was leaving the house, and I was like, to grab the tight black dress. I don't know. That's me every day. <laughs> You know, you, you look sensational. You're, may I say your necklace is uh, slipping in? Do you, yes, I that... put it there on purpose. Oh. Because it was like swinging and I made you don't, it you don't want You don't want it out? You want it in? Because it draws the eye is what I'm saying. I, I thought it would be the opposite, that if it was moving, it would draw the eye. So I put it in. Look, either way, the, <laughs> either way, the eyes are getting drawn. Okay. Is that horrible? No. Okay. No, but that's good. It's I'm lovely. Glad. It's, I'm uh, glad. I'm glad. Then we'll just leave it. How's that? Okay. <laughs> How are things with you? What's going on? Because you, you, you've got the, you've got the, the, your daughter now, I right? I do. Yeah. I have a little baby. She's that's 16 lovely. months Congratulations. old. Congratulations. Thank you. And your son is... Really too? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, my youngest. Well, I got an older one, too. Right, right, right. So you've been right. through it. You've been yes, through it. I've been through yes, it. Yes, it's all new for me. So yeah, it's right. quite, quite the Getting learning. any sleep? Is she, does she sleep at all? You, you know, she does now, though we had a horrible, horrible time at one point. And, and I know intellectually that this happens, but like when it actually happened to me, I, I was in a total panic and I called all my girlfriends and said, why didn't you guys tell me? I was supposed to like... Do something like plan ahead. Like I was. With the sleep to... deprivation is that what you're Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah no, for it's... her sleep, or I, I mean, just something. Yeah, it was no, a it's, crisis. it's it's crazy. No, you yeah. you go, you lose your mind. Yeah. Like you lose your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still can't. Remember I accepted anything. this job when my first <laughs> boy was uh, that age. I was like, yeah, anything, anything. <laughs> 
it's very, it's a challenge. It's a big challenge. And, and I mean, we're good right now, but I'm kind of really dictatorial about the sleep, you know, schedule. And so my friends want to do different things. I'm like, no, 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 no. That is her nap. And we cannot mess with the nap time because I am living in fear of the sleep. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're going to be, you will never really know that you're a parent. You'll never relax ever again in your life. That's Absolutely. It Absolutely. Just, it's over. Yes, I agree. And we also had a little spill. I tried to cover it up. But oh, we, is that a know, bruise? Yeah. Ooh, I love a girl in a dress and a bruise or two. I thought you'd like it, Craig. I thought you'd like it. Oh, man. I thought you'd like it. Yeah. I thought you'd like it. You're, you like them real, right? I you like it. A, a little bit, a bit of bruise and a little bit. It's kind of porny. <laughs> I didn't think that out. I did think Craig, Craig would appreciate this. But, I, you know, I was holding her and I lost my balance because she's at, like, the very busy... Yeah, the squirrel, the back thing. Yeah, yeah all of yeah. a sudden, out of Those nowhere. jerks, I hate when yes, they do that. all of a sudden. Ah. And we fell like a tree. And I was holding her, so of course I was doing everything just to protect her, and all of me is bruised, basically. But she was yeah. fine, and that's all that matters. It's the main thing, then. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. But it's a quite, it's the adventure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always well, stick around. <laughs> I know, I know. I mean, I just got my fingers But don't you, do, don't you go around all the world doing the Oxfam stuff? Are you going to, does she go with you? I haven't taken her yet, because no. of the sleep thing. I right. literally live in fear of messing up her sleep, but... People I like love... it if you take your baby on the airplanes. They like that. <laughs> I've already experienced been through that. the entire doesn't, situation, Doesn't Craig. something, you go through something when it's your kid, though? Like, when you're yes. on the plane and someone else's kid is crying, you're like, oh, it's jerks. They're all you're like, like why aren't they doing something? Right, right, right. And that then, is what you're thinking. And then when you go through it on no. your own, like, you, it's like you pass through something. It's like... I you... agree. Ah! You, there is nothing to do. Right, right. That's what it is. But, I mean, I've let it all go. Like, I stand at the front of the plane now with her doing anything it takes because she will not sleep on a plane and I used to like hide you know like I don't want to you know deal with everybody whatever now I'm up there in the front everyone's talking to her well, well what I do party. what I do now is like <laughs> if I don't have a child with me on the plane what I like to do is take a large box of smelly food from the airport <laughs> and sit next to some oh wait no that's the person sitting next to me no are you a good flyer? Are you all right with it? I love to fly. That's partly, I mean, I love to travel. That was how I got into the Oxfam to the extent that I did. I mean, at first I was just donating, you know, like... A all your money? All, all your money? Not all of it, but, uh, you know, I was into it. I, I, I get that high from donating. I don't know. Do you know this? <laughs> I, I, I do. I do. It's I do good. actually no, literally... No, no, but it's there. Yeah. It's good. It is good. Like God a, bless you. Like an endorphin no, it's thing. Good. Yeah, but then... Um, because do you do charity events? For example, do you and the girls get together in New York and play the trombone or something <laughs> for charity? I don't know if anybody would donate anything if the girls and I got together and played trombone. But if they would, we would. And nah. um, we have got. I'll many give you a couple charity. of bucks if you do it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I think that there would be like tight, tight dresses involved in whatever. But that's fine. We would totally. We have done many a charity thing. Yeah. Yes, yeah. No, absolutely. Uh, and we would. Yes. And uh, is there? Is there going to be another Sex in the City movie? Not that I know of. All right. But you never know. Did the last one make money? 350 million. Then you know. Yeah. But Craig, yeah. it's been like two years and nothing has happened. That doesn't matter. That's, really? I mean, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay, it, I feel yeah, there'll All be right. another one. It's like, the, you know, when they said it's the last Harry Potter movie and then it made a gazillion dollars and they were like, well, that's the last it, one. It really is. Yeah, made. yeah but, but, sure, it's the last Ooh, la, la. Harry Potter movie. But you can't compare us to Harry Potter. I you mean, make money. No, I think you can. Okay, Sex in the City know, is the sort know. of. Uh, uh, no, it's nothing like Harry <laughs> Potter, right? yeah. Not really, not really. But um, back to the Oxfam. I haven't Ooh, really okay. taken a trip, but because this is the good thing about, you know, you don't have to take trips to help Oxfam. You can do things like for Christmas. You're talking about Christmas gifts. Are you staying on point or something I am, here? I am. Oh, okay. And you helped me earlier talking about what, what do we want for Christmas. What, what do you want for Christmas? I don't need anything. I'm very lucky I have everything I need, which, okay. you know, so my family all gives me gifts from Oxfam Unwrapped. And I have the perfect gift to give you for Oxfam Unwrapped. Are you doing a thing here? I am doing All a right. thing. But let me tell you, you're going to like it. Okay. Because we have a new thing on Oxfam Unwrapped this year. You can send manure to a farmer who needs fertilization. Amen. Yeah, yeah. I know it. I know it. I know it. Don't you think that's a great gift? No. That, let me, can I ask, is this, is this a personal manure or manure that you purchase somewhere and then, and then send? Or is it well, like your dog? We could send secretariats. Uh, he, he could help. You, don't, you know, that you, that, that, you don't want the manure from that thing. No? 
very low in... Uh, in no, not, yeah, not yeah. like healthy, whatever, for the throat. I don't know. I, I can't tell you the difference between healthy manure and... <laughs> Me neither. Thank God there are experts for such things. Uh, it's, you know, it's local manure. I don't know. It's like manure that's going to help farmers who can't afford well, yeah, to buy fertilizer. I don't understand this. How do you, you send people manure? Like, you... you, you... In your name. For Craigie, you send some manure to I the send farmer. manure in my name out through the television screens every <laughs> night. Here is a guy. That's not true. That's we, not have to, true. we have to take a break. Okay. Uh, can you take a break? Yes. All right. And when we come back, you want to talk more about manure and stuff? Whatever you want. I'll talk about whatever you want. No, manure is okay. Okay. We'll be right back. <laughs> Is your microphone okay? Can you hear me? I think it is, yes. Yeah. Yes, thank you. During the commercial break, Kristen's <laughs> microphone got into a terrible pickle, and I had, <laughs> I had to go in there and use my fingers to get everything right. No, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say anything right now. <laughs> Um, no, I, yeah, I like to talk, but I will say that, that there, uh, you Do know... Do you like to talk during sex? No. Okay. I'm not into that. No. <laughs> not even a little bit? A little bit. A little it bit. Depends. Like, just a little bit, like, oh, I just remembered where I put my hat. No. Not like that. No? No, no. Like, I mean, on now point. we're off. Now we're off topic, and I'm just gonna go with it because I like you. But you know, there were people <laughs> when we were doing the show who they they would think that I was Charlotte. You know, that I was kind of yeah, impressed. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I had a certain male co-star at one point who was telling me about how he really liked to find kind of repressed women and then kind of like bring them out of their shell, and then they were really devoted to him. And he was telling me this whole story, and I was like, This is an actor, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, this is not gonna work. No. No, because no. I'm not actually repressed like I don't seem repressed do I, I, I I'm a little sexually excited right <laughs> now. but it was kind of confusing because you know Charlotte was right, right but right. I'm really not right no I hear you I hear you know you. Yeah. so I, uh, I I I definitely would not say anything about my hat or anything during sex because you know I'm not Charlotte unless you were wearing a hat I guess but then why would we have to talk about it you know you know what I'm saying <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, what about you? What, during sex? Mm -hmm. I like to pretend I'm Scottish. <laughs> that was good. That was no, good. That no, was good. The, the, what, else? Know, what else? Do you know what? I like to talk during sex, but only when I'm on my own. <laughs> also a good one. And what would you say to yourself? <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. Come on, come on, come on. Give me something. You like that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're right. We're out of time, so we, uh, I got the fruit. We can do an awkward pause. We can give you a hat to wear. You can blow my trombone. What do you want? Fruit. You want some fruit? Yeah. yeah. OK. Uh, let's see. We got a uh, nice fruit. I plant. like tropical. It's very tropical fruit. Yeah, but well, you get ah! like, uh, Pineapple. Laura. You want a pineapple? It's adorable. It's like a baby pineapple. It's actually Thank called you. a midget pineapple. It is? <laughs> Really? I believe it is. That's the correct name for it. I didn't know that existed, but it's very cute. Yeah, you know, it's it's uh, <laughs> in the Wizard of Oz. These are the pineapples that saved uh, Dorothy. I understand. I understand. I understand. What are you gonna have? Um, this one. This one. What is that? Uh, that's the uh, something exotic. Cherimoya. Eat that. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is that what you would? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. No. no. Not with the new teeth. <laughs> you teeth. <laughs> <think? laughs> Did, do you just how you eat them? I don't think you eat them. You have to feel them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that's going to make you. That is you, not how you eat them. I'll tell you that. what. You want to smash a coconut? Yeah, yeah. Come on, then. Let's smash it. a coconut. You, you ready? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Oh, did I get it on you? You did. Oh, sorry. But don't even. <laughs> no, see, this is like coconut water. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm gonna. It. All right. Let's have a toast. To Oxfam. Yes, thank you. Oxfam. 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 Oxfam